The maritime fur trade was really the first thing that attracted outsiders to come to British Columbia. The early explorers had come looking for the Northwest Passage, not found it. But while they were here, what they did find was this wealth of sea otters. Captain Cook arrived in 1778, and it started significant changes immediately. He stayed for a month. He traded for timbers to repair his ships, and it also launched the trading economy, which really impacted the local community. Captain Cook bought furs from the indigenous people, and then the next year they headed off to China. And when they got to China, they found that these pelts were immensely valuable. In China, the sea otter pelts were much desired for clothing. They were used for trimming women's garments for a whole variety of purposes. Sea otter furs, which are the densest fur on earth because the sea otters spend their whole life at sea. Sea otter pelts are amazingly warm. Traders were making big dollars. It was very lucrative. One pelt was the equivalent of one man's pay for a year. So when Cook's Journal was published in England, it set off this rush to the Pacific Northwest. There were trading ships that came from a variety of countries in the world. There would be dozens and dozens of boats during the summer season on the coast. And the early explorers began a trading from the local indigenous people who actually captured the animals. And so that means that indigenous people really learned about outsiders because the fur trade was the first white presence in British Columbia. Indigenous hunters before would have hunted the sea otter for its pelt, but there was a limited demand. You only need so much fur to keep warm. What Cook did and the subsequent traders was connected the West Coast to a global market. And that market was inexhaustible in terms of demand for fur. It was one of the most historic, wasteful hunts that you can imagine, because nine out of 10 sea otters were never recovered. They would shoot the sea otters, and nine out of 10 would sink and disappear. One out of 10 was taken back and sold for great money in Europe. The result was that sea otters were reduced almost to extinction. The animals, of course, survived in other parts of the coast, Alaska, California, but were virtually wiped out here on the BC coast. It's the first example of uh, over-exploitation of resources, which is unfortunately a pattern that we see repeated again and again through the history of the province. Sea otters were not the only animal in the ocean that were treated like that. There's also the tragic story of the whales. 